so far ahead that we, we didn't have the music, we knew what it sounded like, we just never heard it. And punk was huge. See, we were completely influenced by England. America as well, because America was pervasive, but England, the music that was going on, we had these magazines every week, Melody Maker, NME, like newspapers, with, and we were reading them, and we were, we were so passionate about it, but we didn't have the music. And then mm. John started bringing the records in. So when I heard The Clash for the first time, when I heard The Pistols, you know, saw The Pistols album, and it was such an incredible moment because this pulp punk movement in overseas mm. was so huge because it had previously been all this prog shit, you know. And for us, we were young, it was just incredible. It was so well written about. <laughs> Watching a video screen I get sick kicks from the yellow pages Hey baby, don't you know what I mean? So I'm a radio youth The Flash Kid The radio youth Don't you know what I did? A radio youth those who felt South African, we were South African punk band, and those who felt we were a punk band and looking towards mm. England, in a colonial sort of sense. Yeah. Um, so punk had all those different things, but I think the important thing was um, South Africa's small, you know, small audience. I was more in expressionistic, and I think in, in, in New York they had a scene called, the no, called No Wave, yeah. which bands like Sonic Youth came out of. Mm. Um, noise groups and, and things like that. So anyway, I, I threw in all those things. I was like a, a punk Frank Zappa or something. Yeah. I don't want to talk about Eric Clapton. I don't want to talk about Wow, wow. 